Hey, Mecca. Hey, what's up? Not much. Uh, seems like you're doing pretty well. I figured it was time to just casually drop a video unannounced, starting off my Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn hard mode 0% girls playthrough. Oh, that's cool, because Radiant Dawn is like one of my favorite Fire Emblem games. I've had such a long history with this one. Yeah, one of mine too. And uh, I think both you and I, what we have in common is we're veterans of the community by now. We've been around for a very long time. But both of us came into the community right around the time after Radiant Dawn was released. And I have such good memories of debating for hours on end over random trivial things about unit placements in Death's Ren's Forest tier list. What about you? Yeah, I got involved in the community, but I did not see or play Radiant Dawn until much later. So there's actually a time where I joined a debate tournament, having to argue for one of the Radiant Dawn units without ever having any idea of what context they were in. That's just how much I loved arguing rather than playing the games. But ever since I have Let's Played the game twice, I've done an Iron Man on it. It's such a good game. It has so many options, so much flexibility for the player. Just enough customizability to where you can do your own thing, but also enough units that have their own individual thing going on that it remains interesting from time to time. It has Lagoo's mechanic, it has rescuing, it has shoving. It has almost everything that would make for a really good playthrough especially a 0% gross playthrough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, despite what you think, there is a great variety of units that feature in Radiant Dawn, even in 0% growths. And this isn't my first rodeo with Fire Emblem 10 hard mode 0% growths either. One of the oldest series on my channel is a 0% growth run of this game, recorded on what probably was a literal potato in the dead of night in the basement of my parents' house during like a college summer break because my parents have always had a low tolerance for video gaming due to being very stereotypically Asian. No FE10 until you get a 10 on your report card. Well, I've gotten many 10s on report cards since and no longer have to worry about that stuff. I've wanted to redo this run for probably almost the last seven years because uh, its quality just doesn't hold up to what we expect nowadays, both in terms of the gameplay and also just the video quality in general. But over many attempts, I kept on giving up and hitting snags, either because of burnout, for Radiant Dawn is a very long game, or there were just certain chapters that drove me crazy and I couldn't finish it with the desired turn count that I felt was possible. In the last few years, I put my nose to the grindstone and finally hashed out all those problems. One difference of this run compared to the very old one is that in the old days, there was no way to get true 0% growth in Radiant Dawn. In the vanilla game, Every time that you level up, a unit always gains at least one stat, and when they level up with the bonus experience mechanic, they always gain at least three stats. Since then, people were able to figure out how to remove that mechanic entirely, and so now we're able to use bonus experience to its fullest extent. As Don Don said at the beginning, this run will be played on hard mode. When people think of Radiant Dawn hard mode, they usually talk about the lack of visible enemy ranges and the lack of a weapon triangle, but other mechanics that change in hard mode are much more important to this run. Particularly, of course, the enemies are stronger than they are on normal mode, and experience gain is a lot slower, both in combat experience and bonus experience. But perhaps most importantly, hard mode lacks the battle save feature that normal mode has. If you don't know what battle save is, think of Divine Pulse and imagine having that an infinite amount of times where you can just re-rig a turn over and over until you get the outcome that you want. Don Don wanted his clears to be reliable, and so every strategy is intended to be done within one take. And that really changes how you plan to run out. Also, as usual for my 0% growth runs, the goal is to recruit every recruitable character. Radiant Dawn doesn't have many units that are missable. In fact, there are only two units whom you have to dump the blue paint on. But there are also two sort of semi-secret units that are only unlockable on subsequent playthroughs of the game. You have to start a file using clear data from the epilogue of a previous playthrough. And I'm not going to spoil who those two characters are, although if you play Radiant Dawn, you probably know by now. But our goal is to also recruit them. Clear Data also unlocks the fastest animation setting in the game, which is very necessary for any Radiant Dawn Let's Play, because if you want to spend hours looking at enemy phase animations, well, this at least cuts them down to more manageable chunks. Something from Radiant Dawn that we're not using is transfer bonuses. Transfer bonuses is for characters from Radiant Dawn that debuted in Path of Radiance. They can gain extra base stats in Radiant Dawn if you do certain things in Path of Radiance. Uh, most notably plus 5 HP and plus 2 to their other stats, depending on what they've maxed out if you transfer your save file. We're not doing this, not because Don Don doesn't feel like playing Path of Radiance, although that could certainly be part of it. It's more for philosophical reasons. For one, 
it would be very weird to have a 0% growth run in Radiant Dawn that relies on having growths on in Path of Radiance. And for two, it's just closer to vanilla Radiant Dawn experience. And also, there are a lot of LTCs out there from Radiant Dawn that do use transfer bonuses to give the player every advantage possible. And this way, there will be something new that you probably haven't seen before. Before I wrap things up, I want to give a couple of shout outs to some important community members. First is to USS Gordon Captain, who was working on his own FE10 hard mode 0% growth run that stopped at around 3-6 because he got burnt out. So my commiserations. That was where I had gotten burnt out many years back. Uh, USS Gordon Captain was very helpful in sharing ideas about strategies that might be helpful in part four. And he also helped me save edit some files so that I didn't have to backtrack so often. Uh, like for example, having infinite use stat boosters that I could use to experiment on like whether a speed wings would work better on one unit or another. And that saved me a lot of mental pain in that respect. Another shout out goes to Vicious Sal, who is probably the premier FE10 ROM hacker nowadays. He helped answer some of the questions that I had about the less known aspects of Radiant Dawn, such as enemy AI behavior and some skill activation questions. And he also gave me some pointers on how to use the ROM hacking tool Paragon so that I can do some of these investigations on my own. Both US's Gordon Captain and Vicious Sal were instrumental to the success and completion of this run, so give them a gander if you can. That concludes the intro for this Fire Emblem 10 Hard Mode 0% Girls playthrough. Make sure to leave a sub if you don't want to miss any upcoming content, and we'll see you next time. Bye.